Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and here on my channel, I like to review things, anything that has to do with skincare, cosmetics, beauty, and in the health industry. I am passionate about reviewing products. I'm happy to do that so that you don't have to. In January, uh, not only is it cold out where I live in the Northeast, but that's when a lot of the new cosmetics and skincare comes out. So I was most excited to take a trip to my local drugstore because I wanted to try out a drugstore foundation that was affordable and yet worked for my seasoned skin. So I found a product the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Matte Foundation, which normally is not a foundation type that I would go for. I normally shy away from matte foundation products simply because I have, I do have normal skin, but it tends to be on the dry side and matte foundation doesn't look good on me because I have some fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes and around my mouth. But I had seen so many reviews online about this that I decided I had to give it a try. But it is by no means a new product. It's been around the block um, for about three or four years, but I decided I had to go ahead and give it a try. Uh, I wanted to see if someone my age or maybe a little bit older might have some success with this because I saw a lot of the other people that really enjoyed this foundation were quite surprised by it. So some of the things that I read about on their website is this little gem comes in 45 shades. I find that phenomenal and kudos to you Nyx for putting out a product that covers the gamut of people's skin types um, or skin shades rather. I know that a lot of times when I find a foundation, I sometimes have to buy two and two coordinating shades and mix them together to get the right shade. And I, I know a lot of people have that same issue. So I'm really excited that 45 shades, I think that you could probably find the shade that you need um, with 45 shades available to you. And before you go to the drugstore or if you're gonna order this online, something you can do is hop onto their website and they have a foundation chart. And you scroll down through the foundation chart and it has like a bullet point there. You can click on that and it will help you if you know your undertones it'll help direct you to the appropriate shade um, if you don't even know what your undertones are it'll help you with that i think that's a really cool thing um, although I, I really do get skeptical skeptical about trying to find a foundation shade online sometimes you have success sometimes you don't um, it's just something you can try but i thought that was a really neat feature that you could look at online if you were interested so the website also totes that this is long wearing 24 hours I don't really want to wear my foundation for 24 hours. I have no need to, um, but it does tell 24 hours. And I think that's maybe just a marketing thing to let you know, hey, this stuff is going to last a long time. It says it's waterproof, mask proof. That's a huge buzzword right now with everybody having to wear a mask. You really need a foundation that's going to be mask proof and hold up, especially if you have to be at work for a long period of time. Uh, again, it's 24 hour uh, wear. It's ultra matte and it's infused with vitamin E. You know, I think that's something else that we're going to be seeing a lot of more and more and more is our cosmetics being infused with skincare. And I think it's a great thing. I think it's been a long time in coming and I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying many, many more products that are infused with uh, vitamins that I get excited about. One of which is vitamin E because it is so essential for your skin. It is also vegan and of course, cruelty free. The shade that I bought, let's see if I can see without my glasses, is I got natural, yeah, natural 24 hour matte finish up to 24 hours so we'll see my first impression was it was a really nice it's a nice glass bottle looks pretty high-end however when i popped the cap off i was a little disappointed that this the rim around here is plastic it, it almost kind of broke like it it has a little bit of play in it i don't know it, it really doesn't matter i mean that's not going to make or break the product i hope um it was just something that i happened to notice and i thought i'll pass that by so let me get my headband on um it's about 7 a.m. Well, maybe I guess it's about 8 a.m. because I, I did my workout, got in the shower, and I it was a hair washing day, so I washed and did my hair, and my face is washed, moisturized. We are primed. I am using a silicone-based primer today only because I'm really concerned about the matte in this foundation. Um, I'm just really worried about the matte, so I thought maybe a silicone-based foundation would ensure that this won't look too cakey or dry on me. I hope that's giving it a fair shake. Um, if at the end of my experiment today it's not, I will definitely try it again another day with a different type of a primer. So, And I also went ahead and did my eye makeup off camera so you didn't have to watch me do all that. I love this headband. I love it. She probably needs wash in the washer, but I grabbed her. Okay, and I'm going to use... I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics foundation brush to apply this. Very dense. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna turn this camera down here a little bit so you can see more of what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna give a little squirt right there. Okay, let's dip in. Okay, oh, it is so cold here where I live. I hope some of you people are in Florida. 
enjoying the sunshine and the warmth. It is so freaking cold here. This, oh, this is very nice. Very nice indeed. It's very sheer. For something that's so matte, I'm, I'm really shocked. Another thing that the website really promoted was that it is excellent at covering acne scars and imperfections on your face. Now, I don't have any acne scars, um, but I do, um, I have psoriatic arthritis, and I do have a little bit of it right here on my face right now. Um, this isn't exactly like an acne scar, but I'm really curious to see if this will cover it. Um, normally I don't get that on my face, but uh, sometimes when I have a flare up, it happens. Let me dish out a little bit more. That one pump did almost the entire side of my face, so it went a little bit farther, and I've got a nasty wisdom spot there, we'll call her, uh, instead of calling her an age spot. <laughs> get this in here. This really goes on nice, very nice. I'm very, very impressed with how this spreads out. It's not heavy. Um, not heavy at all. I wouldn't say I'm getting full coverage. I would say this is like a medium to a medium full. I would not immediately say that it's full coverage. However, we're gonna see. I may have to build it up on um, these certain areas. Okay, it's right there, okay. So, what do you think? I think I need to point it out a little bit. I've got marks here for my glasses. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit more up here on my Wisdom spot. I'm gonna have to look down here to pat her in. Mm, I don't think anything will budge that. Okay. All right. There you have it. Um, okay. I'm gonna go start my day. Um, like I said, it's about 8 a.m. my time. I'm gonna check in every couple hours and let you know if we've got oxidation going on, if it's sitting in my lines, if it's smoothing off, if it's wiping off. And I'm definitely gonna be wearing a mask a couple times today, and I'll be happy to let you know how I feel about that. So. I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm about four hours in and I want to do a check-in. This stuff is holding up phenomenally. I am really surprised. Can you see? It doesn't look overly matte. I don't have any oil breakthrough. I'm pretty impressed. I'm trying to stand near a window here so you can get a really good look. There is some dryness in my skin, but I don't think that that's the foundation issue. I think that's a me issue because I'm a little dry because it's winter. I'll be back to check in again. Hey friends, it's about 10 o'clock and I'm just checking in for my final time today for my wear tests for the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop 24 Hour Matte Finish Foundation. I am completely impressed with this foundation. I'm gonna show you here. It looks like I just put it on. There's been no oxidation. There's been no slipping, no fading, no oil coming through, absolutely nothing. I had a mask on at least three or four different times today when I was out and about. I walked through the mall. I did perspire. Nothing has faded. Definitely impressed. So I would definitely have to give this product a thumbs up.